Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this channel, we talk about uh, the recent trend papers in the field of AI and deep learning and try to summarize it for you in an easy, understandable way. And we hope that um, you find it useful. For today, we selected this paper, Universeg or Universal Medical Image Segmentation. And uh, we will include the link to this paper later um, below the post uh, by clicking on this link you can just go ahead and check the github code by clicking on this icon and if you're interested to access the notebook you can also click on cola okay let's get started um, in this paper they're trying to solve the domain shift problem which is a common problem in image segmentation task um, when deep learning models are used for medical image segmentation tasks, they are not able to generalize to unseen data. And this paper proposes Universeg as a new method for solving an uh, unseen medical segmentation task without additional training. Let's see what this means. So if at the test time we shift to a new domain or a new task, which were not included at the training time, the model accuracy would drop or the model would fail. And the reason is that the neural networks um, learn the data distribution. So if we do not use the same data distribution at the training time and test time, the model accuracy significantly drops. So we have to include the new modality or the new data um, sets um, at the training time and retrain the model. Now let's look at the methodology. Um, these figures describe the difference between a traditional approach and universal approach. The traditional models um, need to be retrained every time we give them a new task before they can make predictions, but this is very time consuming and not very efficient. On the other hand, in the universal method, um, the network is only trained once but can predict new images while maintaining the network's performance. Now let's look at the architecture of the universe seg. Um, as you might know, units are um, basic networks for segmentation tasks, and universe is also using a unit here, but in a little bit different way. So to understand how this network works, let's quickly look at what a unit is. Um, in a basic unit, in training time, we fit an image along uh, with its um, ground truth or label. And the network works in two stages of downsampling or encoding and upsampling or decoding. In downsampling stage, the image features are extracted using convolution. And in um, upsampling, um, the image is reconstructed in its original size using deconvolution. And the prediction of the network is compared with the ground truth, and this keeps going until the network learns the data. Okay, let's get back to the paper. The idea of Universal is that in addition to the query image and its ground truth, uh, we also use a support set as input so that the information of the support set is transferred to the input image and is kind of giving directions to the network about what we are actually trying to extract from that image. To do so, we use cross blocks. In a cross block, as shown in the right picture, the main input image um, plus the images from the support set and their ground truth are concatenated channel-wise which would um, lead to a new feature set or a matrix. And if we average on resulting matrices, we would have an average representation shown as U prime being the representation of U and V prime being the representation of V. And um, the same operation will continue in the next layers, meaning that um, the average representations are again concatenated with the extracted features channel-wise, and after convolution, we would have the new representations which would go to the next layer, and same pattern continues until the last layer. And by using this method, if the network has not seen, for example, the retinal vessel images, it can still achieve good prediction accuracy on a test set including the retinal vessel images.
Okay, let's look at the performance of Universec compared to the other models. In the upper figure, the performance of the Universec is compared to the other similar methods using DICE score when testing on um, multiple different data sets. The performance of NM units here um, as the ideal supervised model is used as the base for comparison to measure the other methods performance. As we can see, um, Universitec is performing better uh, compared to the other models. And for some of the data sets, the DICE score for Universitec is even significantly higher. And if we look at the visual comparison here, we can see that the grand truth images are provided on the last row here. And the upper row shows the, um, the predictions of an in unit, which uh, as mentioned before, is an ideal supervised a method which is um, separately trained on for different tasks. Uh, but the models um, um, above this dashed line are similar in terms of being only trained on one data set, one type of data, and um, uh, tested on an unseen data. By looking at the predictions here, we can see that University clearly did a better job. For example, here in terms of the um, segmentation mask, the images that um, have been predicted using Universec have less noise or have more precise boundaries. In this paper, they also tried other things like data augmentation, increasing the number of training tasks or changing some parameters such as the size of the support set and compared the results. So if you're interested to know more about this, please check out this paper and also let us know in the comments if you have any questions. And at the end, we would also like to know if you are interested in any topics or papers that you would like us to work on for next time. And um, if you'd like to be notified about our new posts and papers, please subscribe to our channel. See you next time.